Hello everyone. Uh, in this video lesson we will watch Retimate. Uh, Retimate or Reti Checkmate is a very famous from the game Richard Reti played against uh, Seveli Tartakover. Uh, it was uh, the game long time ago but why this game is so famous because in some moment it was very nice combination a queen sacrifice and then checkmate with rook and bishop. We will start the game and we will see how it was. White was ready and he op opened the game e4, c6, d4, d5, knight c3. This is a Karokan defense. d takes e4, knight e4, and black choose the old. A variation knight f6 here is maybe the best for white is the best uh, knight f6 but white played in this game queen d3 uh, queen just protect the knight and uh, for example if black want to take the knight then queen takes and queen is in the center and uh, the game can continue in some interesting way but for example here also there is uh, some trap if uh, black doesn't think too much and uh, he continue bishop f5 this is not good because just knight f6 he takes f6 and queen f5 will win the bishop but Tartakover played in this position uh, move e5 he sacrificed the pawn, but this is just temporary sacrifice because after d takes e5 he has a check with queen and then will take back the pawn. Bishop d2, queen e5 and now Reti played long castle. White offered the knight, knight on e4 is uh, just uh, from the queen protected but uh, it's not so easy if uh, black for example take with the queen this is not good because rook e1 and there is a pin and the black will lose the queen but uh, uh, maybe the best for black is uh, when we play opening we say you have first to develop so quickly develop the pieces and make the castle like white white did castle but black didn't and uh, for black is the best just to play bishop e7 and quickly to make castle for example knight f6 queen f6 knight f3 and then castle and it can be okay for black and black will look how to develop the bishop and knight and rook to put in the games but in this position black didn't think too much uh, or maybe black didn't uh, see combination what uh, Reti so and he took knight e4 but this was opening trap uh, here white to move white play and win the game with excellent combination and this combination is queen sacrifice queen d8 excellent and now black doesn't have what to do he has only move to take the queen and then is discovery attack a double attack from a rook and the bishop and the black king must move on king c7 he get checkmate with bishop d8 and this is so nice picture uh, the game was only 11 moves but if we see here if black for example goes to e8 then he can get checkmate with rook on d8 and this is very nice okay we will see some more some more games and some more uh, example on this uh, tema 
what uh, we are looking today, uh, Reti Checkmate. We are going to the next game. Uh, here we have one also very interesting game. White played e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, d4, e d4, knight d4, queen h4. This is also some interesting opening. Black queen comes early in the game, but attack e4 pawn. And now bishop to b4. Uh, white played uh, queen d3 and protect the pawn on e4. But we can see that uh, some opening theory, modern chess opening theory, said that maybe bishop e2 is a better move, but offer the pawn and then knight b5 attack c7 pawn. And after some variation, there are many options, but one of these is bishop c3, we take c3, and then king d8, protect c7, and white played castle, and white has good compensation, and attack on the black king. For one pawn, white has excellent play. This is some poss possibly variation in this opening, but um, white in this position just protect the pawn with queen d3. Knight f6, again attack the pawn, e4, knight c6, d takes c6, bishop d2, and black took bishop c3, bishop c3, and knight e4. And this position is very interesting. Then white played queen d4. Um, queen protect f2 and uh, in some moment uh, will attack g7. This is important. Black cannot make castle because queen g7 checkmate. And there is also a pin on the fourth rank. Queen e7. Black is going back, uh, protect the knight, and white is making a long castle. And uh, in this position, black has the pawn more, but we can say that white has some, uh, some small compensation and uh, not so easy for black how to continue. Black cannot make castle because of checkmate. Uh, for example, uh, black played move queen g5, but uh, we can see what's happened. For example, if black take knight c3, white can take queen g7, knight a e2, king b1, rook f8, then king a2, bishop d7, want to make long castle, queen h7, long castle, and this position is unclear position. Uh, both player has some chance, and uh, I can say that black is okay, but also uh, nothing uh, is bad in white position. Uh, it can happen something like this, but we go back because black didn't take on c3 what black played black played queen g5 give some check on this diagonal and white played f4 this move was very nice pawn not the queen and the knight on e4 is handing black take the pawn and then bishop d2. Now knight cannot take uh, this bishop because there is a pin on the fourth rank and uh, it's not easy what to do. And here black moved his queen to g4. 
Mm. Another option was just to move queen on h4. But if he move queen on h4, then white can play rook e1, attack the knight, after f5, queen g7, and after rook f8, bishop c4. And the white position is much better. Also pawn on c7 is hunting. But in the game was queen g4 and now white to play, white play and win the game. And this is also a uh, ready checkmate, the same idea, there is a rook, bishop and queen. And we can see queen sacrifice, queen d8, king d8, then bishop g5, double attack and king must go back and here rook d8 it's a checkmate it was a very nice combination we will go to the next example uh, in next position we have here also the same idea white to play white play and win queen d8 check this is very nice and black took the queen but what's happened if black has also some choice to go king to f7 but this move is not so good because e6 and after for example king g6 knight f4 king h6 and then queen to h4 it's a checkmate or if we go back on e6 if black takes uh, king e6 then knight f4 king f7 and knight e5 is a checkmate and we can see that king f7 was not so good but after queen d8 black took king d8 and now we have also discovery attack with bishop g5 king e8 rook d8 king f7 and here again very nice move is e6 because we are making square e5 free that we can jump with the knight in some moment to e5 now black take king e6 then knight f4 king f7 and knight e5 is a checkmate or for example if we go back uh, if black take with the bishop then is knight e5 checkmate but if black goes king g6 then knight f4 is also checkmate and this is also very nice we are going to next one here we are we have one very very attractive and very old game this is a game of paul morphy a very famous game but uh, the on the end uh, some combination is similar like uh, ready checkmate and uh, i will put this game also together with all of this example uh, this is some fieldedor opening and uh, in this opening black, black played some old variation this is bishop g4 is not so good move better is knight d7 but it doesn't matter it was the game and we will uh, learn something new from this game d takes e5 and here black takes uh, bishop f5 
free. This is the only move to give up pair of bishop because otherwise if he takes d e5 he will lose just the pawn. Queen d8, king d8 and then knight e5 and the white has pawn more. And because of this, first black take bishop f3, uh, then queen f3, d e5. And here white is playing bishop c4 and white threat to give uh, checkmate on f7 because bishop is uh, together. This is like uh, uh, school checkmate in four moves. And uh, okay, of course, black knows this and he played knight to f6. But here was interesting, there was also some game where um, black defended from this uh, checkmate with the queen f6. And this was some game of uh, Bobby Fischer. He was white and he played some simultan game. And he won very nice this game. He played, uh, Fischer played queen b3, uh, black played b6 after knight c3, because this knight want to jump to d5 and uh, to make some pressure on black position, black played c6 and now white did very nice move, this is bishop g5, attack the queen and uh, queen for example cannot take this bishop because bishop f7, king e7 and bishop g8 and white will have good position, white want to play queen e6 or queen f7 and it's a lot of threat in this position. And here black played queen g6 and white played rook d1. Uh, white want to play rook d8 to give some checkmate, but for example why white didn't play castle? He didn't play castle because of queen g5 and black gives check and win the piece. This is a big blunder. Okay, we go back. Rook d1 is better than castle. And here uh, black is playing bishop e7. Hmm, what to do? What else to do? He could play, for example, knight d7, but then we can see some combination, some sacrifice, bishop f7, queen f7, queen f7, king f7, and then rook d7. And this is good position for white, and white has pawn more. But on bishop e7, white did very nice, bishop e7, knight e7, and then bishop f7. It's a nice combination. Queen takes f7 and now rook d8 check after this, then queen f7 and white won the game. And it was a nice game of Bobby Fischer, it's some simultan exhibition. But we are going back to our uh, important game where black played knight f6, uh, queen b3, then queen e7, and white continue with uh, knight c3. But uh, in this position we can say that white could also take the pawn on b7, and this is also very good. Black can change the queen, and this is just pawn more for white. White has uh, one pawn more and some winning position. But uh, Red um, Paul Murphy, he didn't want 
uh, to take just uh, pawn. He wanted to make a big attack. He played knight c3, then black played c6 to prevent uh, some uh, moment to jump. Uh, white wanted to jump in some moment to d5. White played bishop g5, made the pin, and uh, prepare long castle. And now um, black played b5. And here white did very nice move. He sacrificed the piece because he saw that black didn't develop a lot of pieces. And this is important. If one side doesn't uh, develop a lot of pieces, we can sacrifice something and uh, make some uh, quickly attack on opponent king. And this is good. Uh, white give the knight for two pawns and give the check. Black played knight d7 and white made castle. Now white want to take uh, bishop d7 because it's pin from another bishop from g5. Black played rook d8, then rook d7, sacrifice rook d7 and again rook d1. And there is a still pin from uh, bishop from b5. And uh, black played queen e6, just want to go away from, from this pin also, because it's not easy when everywhere are some bishops. And now white take bishop d7, knight d7, and here we have a nice combination. And this is not like a ready checkmate, but it's something very, very similar. White play and he made queen sacrifice. Queen b8, it's very nice. Black doesn't have many options, only move is to take the queen and then we can see now is a picture like ready mate. Uh, bishop and rook gives checkmate together. I hope you will like this video and see you soon. See you with my next uh, chess lesson. Uh, thank you for your patience and see you next time. Bye bye.